okay so now uh, let's talk about a workspaces and app stream app stream 2.0 so workspace is aws workspace is going to give you a managed secure cloud desktop uh, so this is a great way to eliminate management of on premise vdi and vdi means virtual desktop infrastructure okay uh, the idea with workspace is that for example you want to get access uh, to a windows machine on the cloud and you want to get into it, then you will use workspaces to create that virtual desktop. And that is going to be a windows. And then you, you will get into that windows and you can operate your desktop from there. It's going to be on demand spaces uh, on, uh, and you are going to pay per users. It's going to be secure, encrypted and uh, get network isolation. It is integrated with Microsoft Active Directory. So all your machine can join your directory domain if you need it to. So the user are going to get into a virtual desktop and uh, that could be uh, Linux or Windows and then securely this virtual desktop can access, for example, your corporate data center or can access your virtual cloud. So it is, so it is a good way, for example, to give your users access to an environment you trust where you know the network security is going to be the optimal. Now Workspace has something called Workspace's application. Uh, manager uh, or WAM, W A M, and this is important uh, uh, for like uh, so. This is to deploy and manage application as a virtualized application containers, and the idea is that you are going to containerized application and deploy them onto all your workspaces. You can provision them at a scale, and uh, you keep them uh, keep the applications updated using WAM, that is the workspace application manager. Uh, this is different from Windows updates. So workspaces application manager is just for applications, uh, whereas Windows update is going to be well for updates of your Windows machine. So by default, Amazon workspaces are configured to install software updates and uh, by default any workspaces that you create, that is the Windows install, will also have Windows update turned on. And then you have full control over how often you want the Windows update to run. But it runs uh, during maintenance, maintenance windows uh, so during this maintenance window uh, the updates are going to be installed and uh, you define the maintenance window that you want so you have always on workspaces and by default the maintenance window is going to be between midnight and 4 a.m on sunday morning or you get auto stop workspace uh, which like workspaces which are the workspaces that stop when the users don't use them and in this case, the users don't use them often enough. Then the workspaces are automatically started once a month to install the Windows updates. Whereas the whereas for the always on, well, because the workspaces is always on, this uh, for sure going to happen between midnight and 4 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Finally, you can also define a manual maintenance window, and uh, you define your windows. Uh, uh, windows the window for the instances of work spaces will be offline for a moment moment for your users and you can perform the maintenance you want on these work spaces and that's it so next uh, let's talk about the app stream 2.0 so this is a desktop application uh, a streaming service uh, the idea is that you are going to have a, 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 a desktop application but you want to deliver it to any computer without requiring or provisioning infrastructure. The way this works is that uh, this app is going to be delivered from within a web browser and uh, this is why it's called the app stream. Because your web browser is going to stream the application that's going to be run but from your web browser. I'll give you a very graphical example. So I use the app stream service to open up the blender and uh, which is a desktop application and as you can see the blender was streaming from somewhere into my chrome web browser and i was able to use blender as it is so app stream is really to a stream application where the workspace is to get a true desktop on which you can run any application you want so let's compare app stream 2.0 and workspaces so workspaces is a fully managed uh, vdi and uh, desktop are uh, the, the users uh, will connect to the VDI and the open source open native applications or applications that have been packaged using workspace application manager or WAM. 
the work expenses can be on demand and uh, then they will turn off whenever we are done or always on where the app stream 2.0 is going to be going to going to be to a stream or desktop application into your web browser and so you don't need to connect to a vdi that is a virtual desktop infrastructure and it works with really any device that has a web browser so you can stream a desktop application for windows onto a mac device through a chrome web browser for example and the cool thing is that the each of these app stream applications can be configured to run on instance type per application type so maybe if you are running something like a photoshop you need more uh, cpu and more ram and more gpu you can configure your app stream container to have more of that and so that gives you a full control over how much power should be allocated to the application that you are saving and if you make the differences between the two uh, two between work spaces and app stream 2.0 then you are good to go for the exam and all right that's it and i will see you in the next one